Hi, today I'm going to show you the many benefits of educational applications on for the iPod Touch. There are different ways you may be able to find these applications. You can go on to iTunes itself, or you can look for the applications on the actual iPod directly if you have internet access. I will show you right now, using this Promethean board, how we can exactly open up iTunes and search for educational applications. Once you actually open your iTunes, you're going to want to go to the iTunes Store. Once opening the iTunes Store, there are many different things like for music or movies. What we're really specifically looking for here is applications. So what you're going to want to do is over here in the category of iTunes Store, you're going to want to open the Application Store because that is where they're going to have the links to all different kinds of applications. Specifically, over here in the category right over here of genres, you can see that you can have things for books or educational purposes or even news if you're trying to do a first social studies class and looking up current events. Specifically, we're going to look at education applications and you can see that there are many different options. If you are wanting to find really detailed applications, they may cost money, not exactly expensive, but paid applications over here, but if you're on a tight budget and you're trying to just find something for your school, they even have a list of top free applications that you can, add, app, that you can access where you'll be able to see what's really popular right now. Say you don't feel like browsing through and just looking by popularity, you can also search depending on a specific area. Say I want to look up math applications, for example. I will type in math in the browser. Over here, as you can see, for math, one of the popular applications that I have that I use currently is called Math Reference. By double clicking on it, you can open it up and see the actual application description over here. Details over here will show that this application can be used for multiple classes. Not only can it be used for algebra, but geometry, and even further on. This application is very useful and has many different resources. As you can look, you can look through the other details and even see reviews from other people and how they thought it worked for them. This may be useful in determining whether or not it can be an application that you think you should be able to use in your classroom. To purchase an application, you have to have an iTunes account, of course. You know, what, you, what you would have to do is you just have to go to the application. Certain applications are actually free. Others may have you 99 cents, $1.99, depending on exactly the content. All you'd have to do is enter your Apple ID and password, and you'd be able to buy it and be straight billed to your account. When having Wi-Fi internet access, you can directly download applications through the App Store on your iPod. Clicking this will send you directly to the iTunes Store where you can look through the individual applications. Near the bottom of the screen, you'll notice the Categories tab. Clicking this, you will see a wide variety from games, entertainment, and many other things. As you scroll down and look through, you will notice the Education tab. Upon clicking this tab, you will be linked to many different education applications, some that are paid, some that are free, and some that are sorted by release date. For this demonstration, we're going to look through the top paid applications. As we scroll down, you see many applications from all different kinds of content areas. Since we are looking for math in this specifically, we're going to look at the math flashcards as we see right here. Clicking the application, it'll show you all the different features that are available. You can scroll down and look at the key features and maybe different information that the application may have. As you get to the bottom, you'll notice that there are even tips for using the application. Along with the description of the application, there are also screenshots that are available for you to look through. To look at these screenshots, you can scroll left to right, and you can see that actually how the individual application works to make sure if it's something you like to use. Now that you've seen how you can direct access it both on the internet, on your computer, and on directly on the iPod Touch, I think that you'll be able to easily go out now and be able to find applications that you'll, you'll be able to use in your own classroom. Thank you.